Welcome to our video on how to access on-premises data with IBM Cognos Analytics. In this video, you'll learn how to create a gateway in the cloud, install and configure the local gateway client, define a database destination, authorize secure gateway client access to the database, and create a data server connection using the gateway. The goal for this activity is for you to be able to perform analytics on the data stored in a local database protected behind your corporate firewall. The first step is to create a gateway in the cloud using Cognos Analytics on cloud. This will be the secure channel communication between Cognos Analytics on cloud and your local database. This will be a fully encrypted, secure communication channel. The second step is to download, install, and configure the Gateway Local Client. This will communicate securely with the gateway you created in the cloud. The third step is to define a database destination for the on-premises database. The fourth step is to authorize the local gateway client to access the server hosting the database you wish to access. The fifth and final step is to create the data server connection within Cognos Analytics using the gateway you've created. You're now able to perform analytics securely against your local database. Now let's look at the steps to do this within Cognos Analytics on cloud. Secure gateways are administered from the Manage portal from within Cognos Analytics on cloud. Begin the creation of a gateway, click on the Manage option, then choose Secure Gateway. Clicking on the Create button will launch a wizard which will guide you through the creation process. The wizard provides indicators at the top of the panel which shows you where you are in the creation process. The steps consist of creating the gateway, adding a client, adding destination, configuring access to the database destination, and finally creating a data source that references the destination or database. On the Create Gateway page, the first thing you'll need to do is provide a name for the gateway. You'll want to specify a meaningful name for later reference. For this walkthrough, we'll name the gateway Your Company Gateway where your company is applicable to your environment. The gateway uses a security token to encrypt the traffic between the gateway server, which is in the cloud, and the gateway client, which is on-premise. The default expiration for the token is 90 days. You can override that value by either using the up or down arrows, or typing in a value. The maximum number of days is 365, or one year. Note. When you select the Create button, this will create the new Cognos Analytics Gateway in the cloud. You've completed creating a gateway. In step two, we'll proceed to adding the client. The Gateway Client is a software component that runs on-premise. The Gateway Client is available as a native application or a Docker command. Alternately, if you have previously installed the Gateway Client, you can skip this step by selecting the I have already installed the client option button and clicking on the next button. Note, you should install the client on a machine which is continuously running. If you're looking to do a quick setup to test out creating a gateway and have Docker installed on the machine that will host the gateway client, select the Docker option. If you want to use the installer version, please watch the Secure Gateway Client installer video. In this video, we will be demonstrating the Docker version of the security gateway. On this page, select the Docker option button and click Next. If you've not installed Docker on the machine, there's a link to the Docker installation notes. We're now on the Add Client page. You'll notice two boxes containing textual commands. The first Docker command is made available to download the Gateway Client. This command will strictly pull down the Gateway Client but will not execute the Gateway Client. The second Docker command will run the Gateway Client and establish a connection with the Gateway Server via a secure and encrypted tunnel. Since the Docker command can be quite lengthy, a copy button is available to simplify entering the command in the terminal window. The following is an example of how to launch a Gateway Client. Click on the copy command, have a terminal window open and paste the command into the terminal window. You will observe the Gateway Client initiating the communicating with the Gateway Server. Take note that the communication channel is secure and encrypted. After the Gateway Client establishes the connection with the Gateway Server, 
return to the Cognos Analytics browser window and click on the Next button. We have now completed the first two steps and will be moving on to creating a destination. You've completed adding a gateway client. In step three, we will proceed to provide the information about the local server that hosts the database that we want to access. The destination name is the name by which the local database will be known within Cognos Analytics on cloud. Similar to the gateway name, we'll want to use a meaningful destination name as this will help us later on in step five, where we will associate the destination name to a data source. Once a destination name has been provided, you then need to provide the name of the host as it is known on your network and the static port number by which the local client will communicate with this server. If you do not know the database server name or port number, please contact your database administrator. In this example, we will be referencing a DB2 database that is running on premise. We will name the destination My Local DB2 Database and we will provide the host name and port value. To proceed, click Create. You've completed adding a destination. In step four, you're provided with an ACL or access control list command that we need to execute within the gateway client. This command will grant the gateway client access to the backend server hosting the database we wish to access. If the ACL command is not executed, the connection to the local database server will be blocked. Copy the command as you did in step two, then paste it into a terminal window and hit enter. Return to the Cognos Analytics browser window and click on the Next button. We've now completed the steps to create and install a gateway client. The next step is to create a data server connection. For more information on creating a data server connection, click on the link. To continue to the next step, click Finish. Once the wizard is finished, you will be presented with a list of the gateways that have been created. Notice the gateway we just created is not connected. You will need to refresh. Let's go back to the Manage menu and go to the Data Server Connections. I've already created a data source connection from my DB2 database, so let's go there. The only information we haven't provided is the Secure Gateway. Let's go into the My DB2 Database definition and adjust it to use our newly defined gateway. Click on My DB2 Database. The Connections tab, then on the My DB2 database. A new pane will appear. Click on the Settings tab, and then the Edit link. The JDBC URL for the DB2 database has already been created. We will now associate a gateway, your company gateway, to this data source. The next step is to select the destination, which we named My Local DB2 Database. Let's confirm that the host and port for the destination match the host and port that were defined in the JDBC URL. Proceed to click on the Save button. Now we'll want to test the connection to ensure we can reach the on-premise DB2 database from our Cognos Analytics on cloud. We enter a username and password for the DB2 database. Click the Submit button and Success. So now we have a data source connection that is able to use the gateway to access the database behind our corporate firewall. Thank you for watching our video on how to access on-premise data with IBM Cognos Analytics. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.